Hey guys, welcome to my video. I'll be teaching you how to play GameCube and Wii games using an emulator. It's really, really easy to do. The first thing you need to do is download the emulator itself. It's called Dolphin. There's a link at the bottom of my video um, to find the files to download. Um, so if you click the link, you get this website. Um, there's a few different versions. The latest is 4.02. Um, I'm using 3.5 because I find version 4 upwards doesn't work very well with some of my games so I'm using 3.5 it's up to you what you use but I might as well use that I mean all the games work fine in it so I see no reason to use 4 so once you downloaded the, the file and extracted it into a folder um, next thing you need to do is get the games themselves and it's up to you where you get them from you can either get a legit disc um, or you can download an ISO format file from wherever you can find them um, for this for this video, I'll be using an ISO format file. So what I do is um, I make a folder in your Dolphin directory and put your games in there. So we'll start Dolphin up now. And the first thing I do once you start Dolphin is to go in Options and GameCube Pad Settings and map all the buttons to the different keys. Because you want to play in the gamepad, you, I won't play in keys. You can't play with keys if you want to, but why would you? Um, the next thing I do is um, click File, Browse for ISOs, and point it towards the folder um, where you put your ISO files in, and then it should appear here in this window, like like, like I've already got them here. Um, now, just to to run a game, it's easy. Just click File, Open and to click the ISO file or boot from DVD drive if you're running off a disk. Now with most um, emulators of like more recent consoles like PlayStation 2 and GameCube um, you don't usually get 100% um, perfect emulation and sometimes you have to play around with the settings to get them work and it's different for each game. I mean if you are having big issues with um, running a game in an emulator, I'd always Google um, search the game and emulate it and find what settings people are using because usually somebody's worked out the settings for you. As in, like um, Baton Kytos, which is a great game, uh, was having problems with the sound and it crashed as well. And I found out I had to turn off um, uh, multi cores and change something in the sound settings, but it's different for each game. Um, you can see the settings up here and the config, um, different graphic settings, DSP, which is the sound, um, GameCube has settings, and the Wii, Wii Remote, if you're using a Wii Remote, I mean, it does emulate in the Wii Remote with the mouse. Um, now we're going to play Baton Kytos, so you can have a file open, or if you're on this screen, you can double click the file there, if it's detected the, the files. So we get running now. It's at the moment it's running in the window. So we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So just wait for it to load now. You get through the menus. I'm gonna show you it working. There we go. Uh, playing Baton Kytos, an emulator. Um, usually it'll always start in its native resolution as if you're playing the GameCube game on a GameCube. But the beauty of playing an emulator is you can enhance it to make it look a lot better. So what I do is just to go in options on the graphic setting. And then um, on the aspect ratio if you're using you can force the widescreen. So I'd force it to whatever ratio you're using. It's like 16.9. You can make it run full screen. And then enhancements. Um, you can put it up to 1080p if you want to. Um, I'm playing a little monitor at the moment, so I'll just push up the native resolution. You can put anti-aliasing if you want to. Um, and filtering if you want to do that. And on the hacks, um, there's various things you can change to make it run. There should be a widescreen hack somewhere. 
there we go, click widescreen hack should make make it look a bit better. Because it's not naturally a widescreen game, so it can look hard. But now it should look a lot better than it does. There you go. Latin Kytos running high resolution. That's more or less you have to, all you have to do. And yeah, Wii games are the same. This is a GameCube game, but Wii games are more or less the same. And you can emulate the Wii remote on, on them as well. Um, and that's more or less all you have to do to get them working. Obviously, each game's different. Some run better than others. And you will probably have to Google to find the best settings. Well, that's more or less it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.